Welcome back to Good Day Columbia 651. Now in Florida, two kids stealing a kiss at an elementary school ends with police being called about a possible sex crime. You might remember the story from yesterday. A teacher at a Fort Myers elementary school told the principal two 12 year old girls were talking about a boy they liked during gym class. That's when the teacher saw one of the girls kiss the 12 year old boy. That kiss led to a report of a possible sex crime called in the Department of, D of Children and Families. DCF told the school to call, then call the police. Police arrived and suddenly we've got uh, this incident in Florida on our hands. It is asking, it is leading the question, why? Uh, you know, to, to of course take a look at the, the legal ramifications and really what's going on and maybe how South Carolina might deal with something like this. Uh, Attorney Todd Kincannon, welcome my friend. Good morning, thank you. What's the deal? The deal is you've got a couple people that work for the school and you've got somebody at DSS mm -hmm. that probably need to find new jobs. These people, <laughs> okay. are, are, these people are completely incompetent. You know, you've got an administrator at a school who thinks they need to call Department of Social Services, basically. The Florida calls it the DCF, but it's mm -hmm. the Department of Social Services by another name. Calls them over two 12-year-olds kissing right. after gym. It's ridiculous. This administrator has no idea what they're doing. Now, Florida has a, a mandatory reporting law that if, if a school suspects abuse, they must make a report. Understood. And I think if there were any basis here to suspect abuse, then, then what, what happened was fine. But there's not. Mm -hmm. You have two 12 year olds. It was consensual. There was no, no, it's not like one of the kids went and complained that they'd been right. touched and didn't want to be touched. Just two 12 year olds doing something that 12 year olds occasionally do. And so some nut administrator goes and mm -hmm. calls the cops. And even worse, then DSS goes and decides to, uh, to, to have them call the sheriff's department. I mean, right. not only did the administrator drop the ball here, but so did DSS. And you expect better judgment out of people who really hold the lives of these kids in their hands. Now, of course, you know, if you suspect abuse, in, in my humble opinion, uh, I guess I would think to 12 year olds, one thing, if one of the people kissing was 12 and the other one has, say, a beard, <laughs> there might be an issue, Ab right? Absolutely right. Um, you know, and, and if, there's, if there's any reason at all to think something unusual is mm -hmm. going on, then it's fine to make the report. But the problem is, is, I mean, it's almost like you wonder if this administrator has ever worked in a school before. I mean, you know, I, I, it's not that uncommon that the two kids in school that are the same age might kiss one another. And so based on that, there's no basis here to think there's abuse. Mm -hmm. This is perfectly normal behavior for kids in school. And so, the, the, I mean, you know, the, the administrator here completely dropped the ball. And the, the real problem is, is you cannot count on a reasonable reaction from anybody these days. It seems right. like anything that happens, the smallest thing that happens, you hear all the time of some kid, you know, the mom put aspirin in the kid's bag and takes it to school and, mm -hmm. and the mom doesn't know there's some rule against that and then the kid gets expelled. I mean, you see these things, it's ridiculous. Now, now, why is that? Is that because, are they hypersensitive because of the Penn State situation, the Citadel situation, that they're just in a CYA mo you know, mode? That they're like, we're, we're just gonna do everything and kind of take out the reasonableness and looking at each case and go, okay, this is just silly. I think that's exactly what it is. I think you've got a situation where these people feel like their own jobs mean more to them than the kids that they have to serve. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, this, this is humiliating. I'm sure these two kids at school have just been completely humiliated by all of this. Right. Um, and you, you get right down to it and, you know, let's say the boy thinks something was wrong or the girl thinks something was wrong. She shouldn't have done that. She says something that leads the police think she wasn't okay with it. Sure. I mean, all of a sudden this 12-year-old boy might get charged with battery or something like that. Now, interestingly, it was actually the girl who kissed the boy, so it's yeah. almost well, a, but, but, but it's almost a yeah. role reversal, and I right. wonder how it would be different if it were the boy that kissed the girl. Todd, how does, uh, how does this apply to South Carolina? How, is, is two 12-year-olds kissing even a crime in the state of South Carolina. Could this happen at Lexington? No, 12-year-olds 12 12 year olds kissing it, consensually isn't mm -hmm. a crime anywhere in the United States, and, it, and it, it, frankly, it couldn't be. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason for that is is that, that you know, there's, there's no suspicion here that they're, they're the same age, right. there's no threat, and as long as both of them are okay with it, you know, 12-year-olds can kiss. The sure. problem that you run into with this is, and it's a very fundamental one, you expect judgment from people who are looking after kids. 
and you have an administrator who doesn't exercise the slightest bit of normal human judgment here. Mm -hmm. You have the Department of Social Services who instead of laughing when they get the call and says this is ridiculous you shouldn't have called us, they pass them off to the sheriff's office and so then you know a, a policeman so has to just, come deal with this. Yeah. Of course we want to know what you think about all this. Would you react, how would you react if your 12 year old son or daughter were caught kissing at school and did the school make the right choice by calling the police? Lana Wilson posts on our Facebook page, it was a kiss, not a rape or an assault. Yes, parents need to talk about sex and feelings with their kids, but assault, really? Paul Domenico writes on our Facebook wall as well, school officials, it seems, have lost all concept of common sense. To your point, Todd, if it were me in charge, I would have contacted the parents, not the sheriff's office. If I were the parent that was contacted, I would have a talk with my child about all this being inappropriate at the rage. And Don Young Runyon Body also posts on our page, are we missing something here? I understand that PDAs are inappropriate, but a sex crime? A crime requires a victim, does it not? How sad is it also that because of where we are in society, the school feels they need to take such drastic measures to protect itself? Very astute comments this morning. Of course, go to our Facebook page. It's uh, Facebook slash Watch Fox and post your comments. We would love to hear them. We'll read them on there. We're talking about this all morning. You can also tweet us at hashtag WACHGDC. All right, Todd, so you, real quick, you, uh, you feel they kind of missed the mark and inappropriate in, in Florida. And uh, certainly, and I like your point, there is not a crime anywhere in the United States where kissing is a crime. No, I think you got a school administrator and probably somebody at DSS in Florida that need to find a different line of work, quite frankly. I really do. These people don't have the judgment right. to be in the positions that they're in. God only knows what other kind of cases and situations they've screwed up if they screwed this up this bad. Sure. Very good. Well, the con of course, uh, it's going to continue. The controversy will continue, I'm sure, for days and weeks, and we want to hear about it again. Log on, and we'll be talking about it later on this morning. Todd Kincannon, thank you, my friend. I appreciate you. your time and your insights. Stay with us. Good day, Columbia is coming right back.